Well guys, it has been a long journey of training agility for the past uh, about two days or so. I'm not too sure how long it's been. You got 400k agility yesterday and today I've done, uh, I don't even know, it's only been like half my day so far. 150-ish k or something, but there we go. 90 agility can now do the Arduin course and I believe if I were to complete the RD task, you get 25% more of the uh, mark of grace from the course. So. If you were to get a thousand marker grace, you would get 1,250 instead. And I believe originally this number was actually 200% more, which is double. Um, it used to be uh, Jack's first, I think they mentioned that you're going to get double the marker grace, and then it's like, what the fuck? And then they made it 50%, and it looks like they settled for 25. And I guess now when I do my farm runs and agility, I'm going to have to bring already teleports, another fucking item in my inventory. I can't even use the runes to help with there. These tabs are probably like 2k each or some crap, but I believe you start over here. I've never actually done this course in my life, and I've hardly watched people do it for too long, besides a few people on Twitch, but I guess the green stuff cut. This looks. I, I heard this was kind of AFK, this course. I'm not too sure. It does seem pretty AFK slash relaxing. I, I have been thinking about maybe doing some fletching while doing agility, but it's kind of hard to juggle that while being on RS3 at the same time. It's kind of good enough for me. This looks pretty. I guess it's easy when you have these green things around. I already know where to click. Oh, that's it? I thought this was like a... Okay, I guess I gotta run. That was like a little jump. I think it's this part right here that's somewhat AFK. I'm not too sure. Yeah, right here. Like walk across or some shit. Wow, Jody's so AFK. I could have totally jerked off by now. That is actually a very long animation. The last one. Holy shit. This is gonna be easy. Anyways, yeah, small tip for you guys, I'm going to probably do it sometime soon. Go ahead and start every single one of these diaries. Um, even if you don't want to focus on them, eventually you're going to probably focus on some of them. And just going throughout your daily life on RuneScape, you will eventually do some of these tasks without even knowing. So um, yeah, that's why I started with the Fremenic one, because I noticed that the last thing was to... Uh, one of the hard delete ones was um, to do a course, of the co uh, the course of the Agility course, or a lap of the Agility course. And um, I, I may as well do that before I, you know, never return. Now what I'm wondering is if I were to do some fletching, it, can I click here and fletch and I will still be able to go on the plank? Or will it interact with my clicking? I'm not really too sure exactly. There's some areas here, it looks like you could actually do a few. Like this, yeah. Yeah, you could do a few here. Here you could do a few especially. Yeah, I can get a good amount there, okay. Well guys, I am... Close to finishing off between a rock quest, which I believe is two quest points, and put me at 204, and this is the only quest I actually have to do. And I think this part you actually kind of can't AFK, so let me just do this quickly, I kind of forget. Hey look, I'm a gold miner. <laughs> For some reason when I attacked this thing, I actually got a 10k XP drop. I'm not sure if it's a bug or not, or if it's a glitch. I'm just kidding, I got you guys excited for nothing. You fucking bug abusers! And there is the quest complete, and I forget exactly what I need to do, but I believe it was where the mine... Oh no, you gotta make one of these mines, golden helmets, in the resource dungeon. So I guess I gotta bring this and a gold bar, I think? Alright, all you need is three gold bars, 7.5k, and I believe once I finish this, I'll be done up to the hard task now, actually, for the wilderness... Oh wait, oh I have my whip, never mind, don't even know, knife. But yeah, this will give me the two upgrades on... Why is there a white dot there? Or a white... Is that a potion? Is this a lure? That's a potion. Ha! Huh. It's mine now, bitch. Fucking, that's right. Woo! That's good. Another man's trash, another man's treasure. I can't wait to get fucking lured. That was totally a lure. It's fucking Mod Ronin over here or some shit. Ah! I think this is all I need. A golden helmet. I don't know if you have to wear it or not, but let's see. No? Okay, sweet. I've done all that. Now I can leave. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. Let's upgrade one to three, and we're gonna also get the lamps, which I don't really want to cash them out right now. I guess I wanted to like save them, but no big deal. I um, think I should get one more, right? Yeah, there we go. Sweet. So that is the third one. Uh, let's teleport on it. What the? I'm not pressing that yet. But anyway, let's use these lamps. I guess room crafting is the slowest skill I have left. No big deal. But there we go. That's what 25k XP for this one. I'm not too sure. And 15k. All right. So now all we have left, guys, is to get 80 Hunter. So I guess I will never complete this because that's not going to happen. I mean, every other skill you can easily bot, but I cannot bot Hunter, especially while I sleep. But hey, once Jack Mom mapes a bot for Hunter, I'll be right on that, boys. I'll be at 99, almost 200 mil. Oh man, too many shots. I'm fucking drunk. I actually don't know what this does. I'm kind of scared to rub it and see what happens. That's 
That sounded pretty wrong to be honest. Alright, well, let's good luck me, and I think... Does this teleport you to the... Well... No thanks. I guess that's actually pretty cool though. Is, it, is this right to the resource dungeon? That's pretty close, I think. Oh, I think this brings you to the Fountain of Rune. I don't know why I want to go there though. The sweet thing is now that I can have five of those keys for Gower's dungeon, so that's pretty sweet. Anyway, it's time to go do a few flips, and then back to Artie. Currently agility, 471k till 91. Not too bad, I guess. But yes, the flipping has been good. I did sell a few of the things I had in my bank, like my mahogany planks. I'm not really too sure why I had like 20,000. Probably because I was like, wow, construction update, these might go up, and then they actually went down a bit. So, Zura is destroying, and I love it. Keep it that way. Mm -hmm. I am a little scared at one point they're going to nerf Zura again, but that, the only thing is, again, would be the... Reason why I don't think they're gonna nerf it again because uh, they've already nerfed it once. I'm not they're gonna nerf it the second time around. Um, so I guess we shall see. One five nine nine k. By the way, don't try to copy me. These uh, these items are completely out of date by the time I upload this, so don't even try. I think I'm gonna try some Guthin sets. To be honest, it's just been pretty good. All right, back to agility. I'll see you guys in a bit. I have done a few bit of Ardugan tasks, literally like one or two of them. Not really too sure. Um, yeah, all the easy ones basically, but I don't know how many quests I need to do for them But I do want to get the elite part of this done because one you get 25% more of the uh, Mark of Grace here and I also get a teleport to the Artie patch Which would be really helpful with the Artie cape and the Artie cape is a sweet skilling looking cape because it's just free teleport and stuff And I believe the Artie cape I think it still does have the same stats it used to have back on the original RS so I'm gonna assume it has like, I think it's 7 or 8 stab bonus, so it also is good for Corp then I believe. It's probably the best cape for Corp. Not that I'll probably ever do Corp, I've never been someone that does Corp because I just, I don't like the fact that the single drop is like 1 in 5,000 for the Divine, or I guess Elijah in this case. So it just kind of, you know, turns me off. It was, I actually don't think I've ever recorded me doing an already course lap because it's, you know, 90 agility. I'm not too sure if you can actually do this with 85 and Summer Pie, I'm not... 100% sure. I never tried just because I didn't really think I wanted to bother trying, but um, yeah, it's actually pretty relaxing. This part right here is very AFK. I'm not clicking at all right now. You just sit here, let your character do it. It's like botting almost, you know what I mean? And then you finally get to click again. Very relaxing course. I could easily silver hawk the fuck out of it. How's it going, guys? So, training the skill that I have yet to train much of, even though I actually just got here because I just finished Warbands and our stream, we just kind of get my inventory down there. There we go, get these down there as well. That's what she, there we go. There we go, that looks pretty. It was, I actually did hunt for about maybe two and a half hours today. I think I have the picture somewhere down here. They should all save automatically. Yeah, here we go. So here's 71, 72, 73, and it kind of just took the picture out and it took the black chins there. Um, I kind of forgot, what the hell, these all fell down. I kind of forgot the black chins were actually 73 hunter. Uh, but I believe you're supposed to start at 80 and oh my goodness, that's some bad slack and let me just pick these all up. But yeah, you should average roughly 100 to like, and like 10k hunter XP here an hour or something like that. But right now I'm getting pretty unlucky and get the fuck out of here. There we go. But the main reason I'm recording right now is because this morning I started the morning off with a pretty good flip and I said, hey, I want to see how much I can make today. And well, that just kind of totally helped it, I guess. Um, by the way, that's not anywhere near the only item I flip. I have noticed that there definitely is a limit on things on this game. I didn't really think there was. Uh, I'm not too sure if they added that recently. I haven't been keeping up too much with the J mods and the updates for 07. I uh, probably should because I am playing it again, I guess, at this point. But yeah, I was flipping Guthins today. Bandos, blowpipes seem to be decent right now for tonight. During the day, they were kind of crap. But I went from exactly 137, or I guess technically 138 mil, but I bought about 1.2 mil worth of skilling supplies, uh, which, what was it, I forget what the item was, but it was something that I needed. Um, I think it was magic trees, to be honest. But yeah, I will show you guys my current cash stack now. Actually, I believe I examined it recently in my chat box, so you might, there we go, 144.17. So today, I have cracked, I think it's over 6 mil plus profit from just flipping with only 138 mil cash to start off with. I'm pretty fucking damn happy. I think I'm going to keep this up for hopefully a week and see how much I can turn that into eventually. Because, um, I mean, it's quite a bit of fun to be honest. It does affect my XP rates by quite a bit because I do have to go to the GE quite often. And, of course, you could throw in the whole flip on an alt thing. Which, unfortunately, might have to be something you have to do since they do have limits on this game. Uh, I didn't know that the items actually had limits because I wanted to flip Guthins during the day. It was really good, like 160k profit per. And then it fucking went to crap because I couldn't buy anymore. 
Hey guys, I will be working on Hunter for a little bit right now, even though it is actually 6 in the morning. I'm probably going to be going to bed in like an hour, which is pretty embarrassing. I know it's a pretty bad time. Nah, okay, whatever. But yeah, 73 and ooh, I just cracked a 1 mil XP mark. That's always been a nice achievement. I don't really know why, but since I was always a noob, I was like, I want to get my skills to 1 mil XP on the high scores because it actually doesn't look too fucking shit, and that was always like a little mini goal. I'm sure some other people probably have like the same mini goal from a long time ago, just get 73 everything so you can get 1 mil XP mark. It just doesn't look as ass on the high scores, honestly, when you have at least the 1 mil XP mark before, you know, you hit just the 6 digits. And yes, yeah, so once I do achieve this 80, I will have the elite part of the wilderness task complete, which is pretty sweet. I can start doing a few more things that it gives you benefits for. And I believe for the Falador was just the Ichitopes little help or however the hell you want to actually say it. Um, and like a few more things after that. Like that quest and like start another one, I think. I guess I may as well just finish it. And then I will be done the Fally ones, which will have the benefits of the magic tree never can get poisoned. Uh, even though right now coconuts are actually only 700 each. I believe at this point it is worth paying for magic trees uh, on old school. It wasn't originally because palms were like, or coconuts were uh, 2k plus each. Um, so that's like, I mean, that's a huge amount of cash when you're paying 25 coconuts. That's half the price of the magic uh, seed itself, which obviously makes it not worth it. But now they're like 700 each because of lovely Zura boss. The benefits of that boss are so great. And I will also get the benefit of Motherload Mining giving you, I'm not too sure exactly how much more XP an hour you get now because of it, but I believe uh, you get better chance of better ores whenever you deposit the, uh, the pay dirt, I think, yeah, the pay dirts. It was originally, I think, like a 20% boost to whenever you mine pay dirts, and that was uh, quite a bit, to be honest. And they made it now where it's just an increased chance of getting better ores, which means better XP drops later on. I'm not too sure if that's like a 5% increase or a 10% increase, but it's a, I mean, if it's 10%, that's a decent amount, to be honest. It's getting somewhat near the, well, it's not really, the XP rates are nowhere near the uh, granite, but the profit you make on the side is, is nice. And I believe now at this point, since everything is doing quite well and everything else is quite cheap, it's kind of working out in like the best possible way. But right now, if you do go for max total from scratch, I believe if you do hunter with black chins, you do mining possibly at mother load, you don't, you don't even have to do it there, but if you do that as well, um, I believe you should easily have enough money now for 99 all, if and if you get just 99 room crafting. Before, I believe you had to get like 16, 17 mil room crafting to afford all of it, but room crafting is crazy profitable, and hunter is now as well. And um, I assume that should be enough now for everything. And construction now you can do with mahogany planks, and it's still roughly the same GP XP as oak doors. So yeah, if you are ever going for max total right now, it's probably the most beneficial time to do just about all the resource gathering skills, including like mining, I guess, if you're gonna do it there, and to train your Bibles. And as for ours right now, I'm just kind of AFKing rune spin in the background. Earlier I was rune crafting while doing rune spin, which is pretty cool. Anyways, this clip is lasting way longer than it's supposed to. I was just supposed to update you guys on what I did so far today. Uh, but that basically is a summary of my day. I just simply record throughout my day. But uh, yes, that and what else did I actually do? Let me just check my XP's. What did I actually gain today? Where's the XP's? XP's? Okay, here we go. This is what I did today. All right, I did a lot of agility as well. Okay, I'm agility, I'm 166k XP. That was my fucking Skype on oh, my phone. What the hell? That never actually happens. Um, Tiny bit of fire making while I was at the GE just waiting on my flips. Uh, just about 300k agility, I guess, not too far from it. Uh, crafting from string and jewelry. I did some, yeah, about 70 something k magic from string and jewelry while waiting for flips as well at the GE. Um, and the hunter, 270k hunter. I almost forgot I trained agility for like a good. Don't tell me you're a pe. Thank you. Don't kill me. Don't kill me! Alright, see you guys in a bit with like 99 hunter. Hell yeah. Well guys, five more black sallies and I will actually get level 76 hunter and I've been doing quite a bit lately. Fucking clicks are way off. Just got back from the gym recently and like, yeah, it's kind of hard to click. My hands are kind of like, I want to say shaking, but they're not really that accurate for clicking right now, but uh, I guess I'll eventually ease into it. But yes, I don't like this as much just because the fact that I'm so far away from the GE every level or so, I do end up going back to the GE. There's 76 to go back to my flips because it, I feel naked when I'm not doing my flips. And in some cases like this right here, it's kind of dangerous. I'm trying to sell five DFSs. They've probably gone down in the past 30 minutes, so I've probably just lost a bit of money. I've, I'll probably still profit from this, but nowhere near as much as I should have because I should have sold these uh, like at least 20 minutes ago, but dragged it on because I wanted to train Hunter, but ugh, the struggle.
All right, time to do some cooking, and I gotta do my farm on that show. I was AFKing some combat on this account. Got so far 800, well, but almost 800k strength, 340k range XP. Not too bad. Bam. Bam. Oh, do I get my first one? I do not. Bam, my first ever black chin. 315 XP each. Not bad, to be honest. This is where we do it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh my god, it's so sexy.